And welcome back to this portion of our Real Estate Radio Hour. We are around every Saturday in the 10 o'clock hour. If you're just joining us, we're talking about uh, uh, lowball offers. Lauren and Tommy were, were uh, jumping in on that. Matt Helling uh, is in studio as well. And the last time, if you, again, just join us, I was asked the question of what, what as far as lowball offers, what do buyers today need to know about uh, the market? And, Matt, you had a couple of ideas, a couple of thoughts. Well, uh, you know, frankly, as Tommy mentioned, um, it the, the the market uh, from our peer, uh, you know from our point of view appears to be strengthening, um, and we are seeing lots of multiple offers. We're seeing people that we issue uh, pre approval letters to not uh, not not getting their home. So um, I would say you know it remains a it remains a great time. Uh, it remains a great time to buy a house relative to, to you know, interest rates are terrific, prices are terrific. I would tell you that, that you know, everything I see would indicate prices are kind of firming up and, and uh, you know, it, it makes now a real good time. If you're if you're thinking about getting into the market, now's a real good time. Maybe more so now than it has been. Uh, I would say so. I, yeah. You know, the, there's always been a little bit of sort of speculation in terms of uh, when is the market hit bottom, when is it going to start going up, and that is all, of course, um, you know, that's, a, that's hard to pinpoint. But I would say we're seeing a lot of stuff indicating that, that you know, if you have a nice property priced properly, um, as Tommy said, you're gonna. There's going to be a lot of activity on it, and we're seeing that again from the mortgage end. I would suggest, obviously, that uh, again, uh, for those that are going to be competing for a desirable property, make sure that you have, um, you know, scouted out your your mortgage options, and make sure that you have a, um, you know, a, again, a pre-approval letter. The mm-hmm. more the the more you're able to demonstrate that you're a um, qualified borrower, the you know, the better your offer is going to look. So, I would say the first thing I'd tell you is that. Uh, the market's looking pretty good, and, and as I say, if you want to, if you want to continue to get a favorable price, at, you know, sooner rather than later, um, I would also suggest there's there are things happening uh, in the marketplace now that that uh, if you are a buyer that is that is potentially interested in uh, an FHA loan, in other words, you 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 have a a down payment less than less than twenty percent, an FHA loan will allow you a down payment as low as three and a half percent. If you're so if you're interested in buying a home. Uh, uh, with a with a low down payment again, I- and you're on the fence. Now is a pretty good time to to look to it, jump in. It, it appears that in the near future, the F you know again because the F you know because of the the low down payment requirement, there is some mortgage insurance with the FHA. It appears based on some stuff that the, that HUD put out recently. It appears that the FHA annual mortgage insurance premium is going to be going up. Uh, in the in the near future. So again, if you're if you're if you're thinking about looking now, would be a good now time. A good time. To get in under the you know. We've got a caller, guys, on the line. Uh, Joanne in Minneapolis has a question. I think a good question. Joanne, thanks for waiting. What's your question, please? My question is: We've seen a home that was you know put out there for one hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars. It's well cared for and everything, but the whole thing is is that in the backyard there's an enormous silver maple tree that the roots are interfering with drainage and everything like that. And you can tell there are some drainage problems. And the only way I can see to fix the backyard is to totally remove that tree, which I think would cause a lot of digging, plus the fact that the home is right on a main street and the city bus stops in in front of it. Um, Our realtor had said, why don't you offer him 146? But I think even that is high. And I'm not sure what is the estimate for removing a huge tree like that and doing grading work in the back. Gee, we could have uh, have uh, Pat Remick yeah, here. Pat could answer that question for you, and uh, probably a good source for us to pass something on to mm-hmm. uh, Pat. So, if you could leave us our information or go to our website, we should be able to get that over to Pat and give you. An yeah, in fact, that's a good time to uh, to not only talk about the website, which is realestateradiohour.com. A lot of good information there, and they can forward the, the question. You just ask the question button, right? Uh, or you can also call the hotline, which is 800. They always return the call, so if you want to call the hotline, 800-246-1867. That line was set up specifically for our CCO listeners who may need 
a specific uh, question answered. In some cases, right, you can't answer legal questions. You can refer to a lawyer or whatever the case may be. Yeah, how, how I would go about it is, uh, for one, definitely go out there and get a couple of different bids. See what that, that number is. I mean, is it an exaggerated number of $20,000 or are we really talking about a $2,500 project? Uh, with that, then, like we were talking earlier in the program, have that realtor um, really pull the comps of what properties are going for that are comparable and then maybe go to the seller and say, hey, we've done our homework. Here's our offer, but justify why the offer is a little bit lower or maybe quite a bit lower because – of the of the current issue with this mm-hmm. with this tree. So. We're talking about uh, low ball offers. Should we take a break? Yeah, we better take a break. They're telling me we should take a break. When we come back, we've got a couple of text messages as well. If you have a, a real estate question by phone or by text, 651-989-9226, or send a text at 8187 back after this here on 830 WCCO.